Good morning to all the students. I hope that you all have seen part 1 of chapter 5 Revolutionaries of India. Now moving ahead to part 2. Now in this part we will discuss about other revolutionaries. Let us start. Khudiram Bose. Khudiram Bose was born on 3rd December 1889 in village Abepur of the Midnapur district in Bengal. and he lost his parents in his childhood and was raised by a teacher named satyan babu see kudiram bose he was born when on 3rd december 1889 uh, in village habibpur of midnapur district in bengal and he lost his parents when he was child only and he was under the care of a teacher named satyan babu and who inspired him to be revolutionary see who gave him lessons and put him on the path of revolutionary he participated in the non cooperation movement and kindled the foreign clothes khudiram bose and used to dive in the river ganga and top the topple the boats carrying salt in this way he used to break the anjus salt law See Khudiram Bose he participated in Gandhi ji's non cooperation movement and he set fire to the foreign clothes Khudiram Bose he would dive also in the Ganga and he upset boats they were carrying salt and in this way Khudiram Bose broke the anjus salt law on 30th April 1908 Khudiram Bose Uh, on 30th April 1908 Khudiram Bose and Praful Chakki threw a bomb on the horse carriage of Judge Kingsford to kill him Judge Kingsford survived the attack but the wife and daughter of lawyer Kennedy died in this attack see in order to kill justice kingsford Khudiram Bose and Praful Chakki they threw a bomb on Ja, uh, on Justice Kingsford's horse carriage on 30th April 1908, but the wife and daughter of Advocate Kennedy sitting in the carriage died due to this bomb, and Kingsford uh, Kingsford was saved. So things to be known over here is, see what is that? Uh, it is said that. when been surrounded praful chakki shot himself before the police could arrest him see he shot himself and khudiram bose was captured and hanged and he became the youngest martyr to die at the age of 18 for the nation see praful before the police could arrest them praful chakki he sacrificed his life by shooting himself and the british government they arrested Khudiram and he was hanged till death for this crime. Now we will discuss about Ram Prasad Bismil. Ram Prasad Bismil was born in Shah Jahan Nagpur in the United Provinces, that is Uttar Pradesh, in eighteen ninety seven C E. See Ram Prasad Bismil. He was born in eighteen ninety seven E D at. Shah Jahan Pur in Uttar Pradesh, and he was a kingpin, means a man. He was a mean or a large bolt in central position of Kakuri conspiracy, where the revolutionary hatched a plan to rob a train carrying the treasury for which he was sentenced to death. See Ram Prasad, Bismillah, he was response. uh see he was responsibility of burning foreign clothes during gandhi ji's call for non cooperation movement and he played a vital role in Ka- kakori train loot case in order to make it uh, successful and he was also arrested see he he was sentenced to death and ram prasad was one of the member who formed revolutionary uh, revolutionary organization hindustan Republican Association. See, he played a vital role in in the Kakori train loot case, and to make it very successful, and he was arrested and sentenced to death by hanging for this crime. Bhagat Singh praised him as a great poet writer of Urdu and Hindi. 
See, Bhagat Singh, he praised him as a great poet and a writer also of Urdu and Hindi. Bismil was his pen name. See, what was his pen name? Bismil. He had translated the book Catherine from English and Bolshevikon ki Kartut from Bengali. See, he has translated these two books, Catherine that is from English and Bolshevikon ki Kartut from Bengali. And his poem inspired patriotic fervor among the Indians. And his poem also inspired the people. See what is written over there, written by Bismil. Dard o divar pe hasrat se naraz karte hai. Khush raho ahle vatan hum to safar karte hai. Now well said, poem written by uh, Bismil. Now we will discuss is about... Uh, Ashfaq Ullah Khan. Ashfaq Ullah Khan and Ram Prasad Bismil had set an example of Hindu-Muslim unity. See, they both form uh, the example, both of them. Uh, Ashfaq Ullah Khan and Ram Prasad Bismil, they uh, set an example for Hindu-Muslim unity. They were our childhood friends. And since, since they were childhood friends, he was an expert in horse riding and shooting. See, uh, uh, Aspak Ullah Khan, he was expert where in horse riding and shooting. He had prevented the attack on Arya Samaj temple in Shah Jahanapur and he was involved in the Main, uh, Mainpuri train robbery conspiracy also as well as Kakori conspiracy and he too was hung in the prison on the same day as the Ram Prasad Bismil. The same day he was also imprisoned. See, Uspa, uh, Ushfaq Ullah Khan, a revolutionary named Ushfaq Ullah Khan who was born in 1900 in a Pathan family and he set an example of Hindu-Muslim unity. And when he met Ram Prasad Bismil, he became his firm revolutionary friend. See, Ushfaq Ullah Khan was very fond of sports and he was an expert horseman. And he was excellent shooting, also he was good in shooting. And he was the one who stopped the attack that took place in the Arya Samaj temple at Shah Jahanapur. And he also participated in the Kakori train loot. And the British government, they started arresting revolutionaries uh, they, uh, after this incident. So, Aspakullah Khan, he was arrested due to this and he was given the death sentence while he was in jail see uh, written by Aspakullah khan is kuch kuch, uh, kuch arzu nahi hai hai arzu to ye rakh de koi zara si khak e vat, khake vatan kafan mein see very well said by Aspakullah khan that was all about Aspakullah Asfa, khan now we will discuss about chandra shekhar azad his real name was Chandrasekhar Sitaram Tiwari. He was born on 23rd July 1906 in Bhav Bhavra village of Alirajpur district in Madhya Pradesh. See Chandrasekhar Azad where he was born on 23rd July 1906 at Bhavra village of Jabao district that was in Madhya Pradesh. And uh, he received preliminary education in Kashi. See where he received his, his uh, primary education at Kashi in Banaras. And he was a nationalist since the childhood. See he was nationalist since he was from beginning of his childhood. Chandrasekhar, uh, uh, Chandrasekhar participated in the non-cooperation movement. And when he was arrested for the first time, he was so young that the police did not have handcuffs of his size. See, Chandrasekhar was arrested and presented before the court for participating in the non-cooperation movement started by Gandhiji. And when he was asked his name in the court, see, he, he was arrested for the first time and he was so young, the police did not have a handcuff of his size. And in the court, when he was asked his name, he said Azad and he told uh, that his father's name was Freedom and the residence was prison 
after that he became popular as azad see when he was asked his name in the court he gave it as azad and he gave his father's name as freedom and he called his house a prison and see from them on was what happened chandra shekhar has been known by the name of azad so in this way he was been named as azad he too participated in the train robbery of kakori station 40 revolutionaries were arrested but azad managed to escape the british government announced a bounty to catch him see he, he too he was he also participated chandrashekhar azad he also participated in looting the government treasury during the kakori train loot and 40 revolutionaries were arrested see how many revolutionary were arrested the british government they arrested about 40 people from all over the india for this loot but azad managed to escape but they could not catch chandrashekhar azad the british government announced a bounty to catch him the british government they announced a cash reward to capture him and azad had taken a vow to not to be caught alive by the british authority on 27th february 1931 ce azad was surrounded by the british police in alfred park of allahabad and azad put up a brave fight single handedly and then he showed himself and it is said that the police was so scared of azad that they shot two three bullets into his body to confirm his death before they stepped closer to him see yeah and chandrashekhar azad the british see the the british they could not catch chandrashekhar azad for 6 years and the british government they announced also the cash reward to capture him chandrashekhar azad has taken a vow he has taken a vow which i will never be caught alive he'll not be caught alive by the british government and on 27th february 1931 as azad sat at alfred park at allahabad and he was surrounded he was suddenly surrounded by british police and he fought the police team single handed for half an hour and finally when he did not get a chance to flee from the park he shot himself with his own pistol and become a martyr so he became this way he became a martyr and see what happened there in that it is said that police now they were so much scared of azad that they shot two or three bullets into the body of uh, chandrashekhar azad to confirm that his death before they stepped closer to him so that was about chandrashekhar azad see things to be known the train carrying the government treasury was going from saharanpur to lucknow on 9th august 1925 see on the way at kakori station the train was robbed robbed by the revolutionaries and their main goal what was to collect money for weapons and other revolutionary activities i hope you have understood uh, about them ram prasad bismil khudiram bose and chandrashekhar azad all uh, all the revolutionaries properly thank you for listening